a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Midragina speciosa Midragina speciosa is a tropical evergreen tree in the coffee family native to Southeast Asia. M. speciosa is indigenous to Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, and Papua New Guinea, where it has been used in traditional medicine since at least the 19th century. Kratom has opioid properties and some stimulant-like effects. Little is known of Kratom's worth or safety as a therapeutic agent, since research into its use has been of poor quality. In February 2018, the Food and Drug Administration stated that there is no evidence Kratom is safe or effective for treating any condition. Some people take it for managing chronic pain, for treating opioid withdrawal symptoms, or more recently for recreational purposes. Onset of effects typically begins within 5 to 10 minutes and lasts 2 to 5 hours. Common minor side effects may include nausea, vomiting, and constipation. More severe side effects may include respiratory depression, seizure, addiction, and psychosis. Other side effects may include high heart rate and blood pressure, trouble sleeping, and, rarely, liver toxicity. When news is stopped, withdrawal symptoms may occur. Deaths have occurred with Kratom both by itself and mixed with other substances. Between 2011 and 2017, 44 Kratom-related deaths occurred, only one of which involved Kratom alone. Nine Kratom-related deaths occurred in Sweden in 2011 and 2012, all involving a mixture of Kratom with a prescription opioid analgesic. There is growing international concern about a possible threat to public health from Kratom use. In some jurisdictions, its sale and importation have been restricted, and several public health authorities have raised alerts. Kratom is a controlled substance in 16 countries, and in 2014, the FDA banned imports and manufacturing of Kratom as a dietary supplement. Sometimes, the finished product is mixed into cocktails with other psychoactive drugs, such as caffeine and codeine. Description Midragina speciosa is an evergreen tree that can grow to a height of 25 meters tall and the trunk may grow to a 3 feet diameter. The trunk is generally straight and the outer bark is smooth and gray. The leaves are dark green and glossy, and can grow to over 14 long, and 7 wide when fully open, are ovate acuminate in shape, and opposite in growth pattern, with 12-17 pairs of veins. The flowers grow in clusters of 3 at the ends of the branches. The calyx tube is 2 mm long and has 5 lobes. The corolla tube is 2.5 long. M. Speciosa is indigenous to Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, and Papua New Guinea. Midragina speciosa was first formally described by the Dutch colonial botanist Peter Korthels in 1839, who named it as such. It was renamed and reclassified several times before George Darby Havilland provided the final name and classification in 1859. Uses the United States Drug Enforcement Administration stated in 2013, there is no legitimate medical use for Kratom. Kratom has become popular as a recreational drug and has been promoted with claims that it can improve mood, relieve pain and help with opiate addiction. Kratom and key extracts have been studied in cells and in animals, but no clinical trials have been conducted in the United States. Opioid Withdrawal in 1836, Kratom was reported to be used as an opium substitute in Malaysia. Kratom was also used as an opium substitute in Thailand in the 19th century. Data on how often it is used worldwide are lacking as it is not detected by typical drug screening tests. Rates of Kratom use appears to be increasing among those who have been self-managing chronic pain with opioids purchased without a prescription and are cycling their use. There have been no formal trials to study the efficacy or safety of Kratom to treat opioid addiction. Traditional Use In cultures where the plant grows, it has been used in traditional medicine. The leaves are chewed to relieve musculoskeletal pain, and increase energy, appetite, and sexual desire in ways similar to cart and coca. The leaves or extracts from them are used to heal wounds, and as a local anesthetic, Extracts and leaves have been used to treat coughs, diarrhea, and intestinal infections. 
kratom is often used by workers in laborious or monotonous professions to stave off exhaustion as well as a mood enhancer and or painkiller. In Thailand, kratom was used as a snack to receive guests and was part of the ritual worship of ancestors and gods. The herb is very bitter and is generally combined with a sweetener. Recreational use Across Southeast Asia, and especially in Thailand in the 2010s, a tea-based cocktail known as 4x100 became popular among some younger people. It is a mix of kratom leaves, cough syrup, coca-cola, and ice. People who consume this were often viewed more negatively than users of traditional kratom, but not as negatively as users of heroin. Use of the cocktail was a severe problem among youth in three provinces along the border with Malaysia. In the US, kratom was available in head shops and over the internet. Prevalence of use was unknown as of that time. Adverse effects At relatively low doses at which there are mostly stimulant effects, side effects include contracted pupils and blushing. Adverse effects related to stimulation include anxiety and agitation, and opioid-related effects like itching, nausea, loss of appetite, and increased urination begin to appear at moderate doses and higher, at which opioid effects generally appear. Additional adverse effects include tachycardia as well as the opioid side effects of constipation, dizziness, hypotension, dry mouth, and sweating. Frequent use of high doses of kratom may cause tremor, anorexia, weight loss, seizures, and psychosis. If heavy users try to stop using kratom, they may experience withdrawal symptoms including irritability, feelings of distress, nausea, hypertension, insomnia, runny nose, muscle, and joint pain, and diarrhea. Serious toxicity is relatively rare and generally appears at higher doses or when kratom is used with other substances. In July 2016, the Centers for Disease Control issued a report stating that between 2010 and 2015, U.S. poison centers received 660 reports of exposure to kratom. Medical outcomes associated with kratom exposure were reported as minor for 162 exposures, moderate for 275 exposures, and major for 49 exposures. One death was reported in a person who was exposed to the medications paroxetine and lamotrigine in addition to kratom. For 173 exposure calls, no effects were reported, or poison center staff members were unable to follow up again regarding effects. Overdose of kratom is managed similar to opioid overdose, and naloxone can be considered to treat an overdose that results in a reduced impulse to breathe, despite mixed results for its utility. Based on animal models, from October 2017 to February 2018 in the United States, 28 people in 20 different states were infected with salmonella, an outbreak occurring from consumption of contaminated pills, powder, tea or unidentified sources of kratom, an analytical method using whole genome sequencing applied to samples from the infected people indicated that the salmonella outbreak likely had a common kratom source. Respiratory depression Respiratory depression is a major risk with opioids, especially those that have activity at the mu-opioid receptor. This is the leading cause of death from opioid use. In animal studies at very high doses, metragenine caused respiratory depression, but less than morphine or codeine. The respiratory effects of kratom and its main bioactive components have not been studied in people. A 2016 CDC report on kratom exposures did not list respiratory depression as a risk of kratom, nor did a 2013 DEA report. The Food and Drug Administration in a July 2016 report does however list respiratory depression as one of the concerns. Some literature review articles do not list respiratory depression. However other literature reviews and some medical textbooks do name respiratory depression as a risk. Liver Toxicity In rare cases, chronic use of kratom has been linked to acute liver injury with associated symptoms of fatigue, nausea, Eaching and jaundice, liver injury is associated with cholestasis and may involve acute renal failure. The mechanism by which kratom causes liver damage in some people was poorly understood. Death 
Kratom overdose is a subject of concern in many countries, because of the rising number of hospitalizations and deaths from chronic Kratom abuse. According to clinical reviews, Kratom overdose can cause liver toxicity, seizures, coma and death, especially when in combination with alcohol abuse. Between 2011 and 2017, 44 deaths were Kratom related. In one autopsy, substantial levels of meat raginine and the psychostimulant, propyl hexidrine, were found in the blood sample. In an additional autopsy were high levels of meat raginine, and signs of opioid toxicity. Nine deaths occurred in Sweden during 2010-11 relating to use of Krypton, a mixture of Kratom, Caffeine, and Odesmethyltramadol, a prescription opioid analgesic. Chemistry the key psychoactive compounds in MSPCOSA are meat raginine and 7 hydroxamide raginine, but there are more than 40 compounds in MSPCOSA leaves, including about 25 alkaloids other than meat raginine and 7 hydroxamide raginine, including imalacine, metraphaline, meat raginine pseudoindoxyl, and rinkafaline. Other active chemicals in M. speciosa include raw basin and pores in East alkaloids such as corinanthiadine. Meat rage 9 is about 60% of alkaloid extractions, while 7 hydroxymitrage 9 is about 2%. Meat rage 9 is structurally similar to uimbine and voacangin. Pharmacology Much of the pharmacology of Kratom was not well understood, having stimulant effects at low doses, an opioid like effect at higher doses, as well as sedative and sensory suppressive effects. Both meat raginine and 7-HMG are selective full agonists of the mu opioid receptor. 7-HMG appears to have higher affinity. The stimulant effects appear to be mediated via prevention of activation of serotonin 5-HT2A receptors and postsynaptic alpha-2 adrenergic receptors. Rinkafiline is a non-competitive NMDA antagonist found in Kratom. Meat raginine is metabolized in humans via phase I and phase II mechanisms with the resulting metabolites excreted in urine. In in vitro experiments, Kratom extracts inhibited CYP3A4, CYP2D6, and CYP1A2 enzymes, which results in significant potential for drug interactions. Detection in body fluids the plant's active compounds and metabolites are not detected by a typical drug screening test, but can be detected by more specialized testing. Blood meat raginine concentrations are expected to be in a range of 1050 grams slash L in persons using the drug recreationally. Detection in body fluids is typically by liquid chromatography mass spectrometry. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more? 